Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Conkle and I'm a writer and illustrator. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to be making a mask and I'm going to be reading to you from my book, Who's Behind the Mask? I wrote the book during the pandemic for a young friend of mine. He was terrified of masks and he, when he went to the doctor's office, the doctor said this was a common occurrence among young children. I didn't want any children to be afraid of masks. So I wrote this book and I'm going to share it with you today. Let's get started. Who's behind the mask? Hi, my name is Sally and I wear a mask. Masks keep us safe from germs. Germs can make us sick. My mask has smiley faces. Do you know why? I'm smiling behind my mask. Can you guess who's behind each mask? A mask with hearts? It's my mom. She loves me lots. A mask with bows? It's my sister. She likes to wear a crown. Guess who wears a mask with baseballs? It's my dad. The mask with the banana? It's my nana. And who's behind this mask? It's Pop-Pop. Other people wear masks too. Donuts and cake on a mask. It's the grocery store clerk. He puts food on our shelves. Who is behind this mask? It's my teacher. Who wears a mask and shield? A doctor, nurse, and anyone who sees a lot of people. They must be extra careful. Who is behind this mask with the music notes? My friend Ben. A mask with bones? No, dogs don't wear masks. What type of mask do you like to wear? Thank you for listening to my story. And thank you to the Society of Illustrators for letting me read it to you today. Let's try making our own masks. Start by drawing your ideas. I've done a few here. And for this project, I'm going to choose the bird. Gather your materials. Paper plates work wonderfully. Small ones are perfect for little faces. Next, take a scissors and cut off the top third of the paper plate. We can attach it by using a disposable face mask staple it in the inside of the plate and keep the nose wire at the top. If you don't have a disposable face mask, you can also use a hole punch and put ribbon through it, tie the end with a large knot or with a bead. Another option would be popsicle sticks. You can attach those by stapling them to the bottom of the paper plate. Next, have fun decorating your mask. You can paint paper plate, put stickers on it, markers, finger paint, whatever works best for you. Use your imagination and enjoy yourself. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for visiting me today, and thank you to the Society of Illustrators for inviting me. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me from my website at www.konkol.com. Take care.